Altitude, 1,000 meters. The separation detected. We have reacquired the signal. Gravity turn detected. Altitude, 600 meters. 500 meters. 400 meters. 250 meters. 150 meters. 100 meters. 80 meters. 50 meters. Constant velocity phase detected. Altitude, 40 meters. 30 meters. 27 meters, 20 meters, 50 meters, standing by for touchdown. Touchdown signal detected. <laughs> landing it, landing it sequence initiated. Helium vent detected. Wow. Standing by for normal so, termination of EDL.com. So, Jonathan, it sounds as if the Phoenix has landed safely. What will happen now? I mean, will we see pictures from it? Will we just, or will, will they just Standing get by information, for normal termination data of coming back? Just a bit of data on the health of the spacecraft. They're expecting one picture at least to be taken uh, shortly after landing, about, about three or four hours after landing, uh, to show where it has landed. Um, but then it really has to just uh, sit there for a while and recharge its batteries mm. and go to sleep <laughs> overnight and then uh, pick up again tomorrow. And that's a fairly complex procedure of rolling out some solar panels, is that right? That's right. It has two big solar panels. It has to fold out like the uh, petals of a flower to start picking up the sun light to recharge its batteries. Uh, then they have to wait for any dust to settle that was kicked up during the landing uh, because that dust can settle on those panels. And as I said, it has to then stick up its camera, take a look around, take one photo and send it back. Just going back to their reaction there, I was interested <laughs> to read this morning that that we have kind of... normal termination of EDLCOM by Odyssey and Director Earth. <laughs> that, that, we have great applause there. What, the way it's been described is it was seven minutes of terror. Yes. Welcome to the northern place of Mars. Looks like they've got the final confirmation they needed there that it's all worked according to plan, which is really quite remarkable. After uh, so many years of work and ten months flying there, uh, it, was, it was interesting hearing them say 500 metres, 400 metres and things. It was really 275 million kilometres and 500 metres. That's yes. how far away it was and how, how remote and how out of control. And, and one of the dangers, of course, one of the risks was that uh, it could actually have landed on, on the side of a rock and perhaps toppled over, so it sounds exactly. as if it's hit a flat spot. It sounds like it has, exactly yes. Exactly as it was designed to do. Which is pretty amazing, really. I mean, the, the chances were that it would do that, but um, I'm sure there were lots of white knuckles and, and uh, pounding hearts there in mission control. Mm. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant.